Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic sexual reproduction in flowering plant and this video is presented to you by www.examhe.com. So as in our previous videos of this topic we have discussed about the male and female reproductive organs and the various parts of male and female reproductive organ. Now we are going to discuss on pollination. So first of all what is pollination? So pollination is a process in which the transfer of pollen grain take place from the anther to the stigmatic surface of flower. So here I am drawing a diagram of a female reproductive part. So this is the female reproductive part of angiosperm and this is ovary, this is a stigma, this is a style and this one is ovary. Inside it these are ovules. So this is the male reproductive organ, filament and anther. This is anther part and this is filament. So the pollen grain are produced in the anther part and is transferred and deposited to the female reproductive stigmatic part. So this process is called pollination. So the pollination is of two types self pollination and cross pollination. In self pollination the pollination can be autogamy and kittenogamy. So in autogamy the pollination occur between the same flower. So as you can see in this diagram the flower is a bisexual having both male and female reproductive organ in the same flower. This is the bisexual flower having both male and female reproductive organ. So when the pollination occur in the same flower and the transfer of pollen grain take place from the anther of the same flower to the stigma so this type of pollination is called autogamy and in gitanogamy the pollination occur between the different flower of a same plant so this is a flower and the another flower but of same plant. So the plant is same. So the transfer of pollen take place from anther to the stigmatic surface. So the plant is same okay in cross pollination in cross pollination they need an agencies to transfer pollens from anther to stigma this agencies can be abiotic or biotic if the agencies are abiotic so that would be wind or water which are non living and if the agencies were biotic then it would be living insects, birds, bats and snail. So in cross pollination the pollination occur between the flower of different plant. So as you can see this and this plant is different. This is different plant but of same species. Different plant but of same species okay so different plant of same species so in cross pollination as you can see in this diagram this pollination occurs through insects and the pollen grain were transferred from one uh, from the flower of one plant to the flower of another plant okay 
So in self pollination both the sex organ of flower should mature at the same time and the anther and stigma are brought together by growth bending or folding so if both the sex organ will mature at same time so the pollination can occur easily so now we will see in these examples this is uh, the diagram of a flower called vinca okay so in this flower in this flower this is the female reproductive part and this is the male reproductive part anther so the growth of a style this is a style the growth of a style take place and the contact between the anther and the stigma occur and hence the pollination occur now in another diagram this is the diagram of a flower mirabilis or 4 o'clock so in this flower in this flower this is the male reproductive part and this one is the female reproductive part so the bending of uh, the male reproductive part takes place and the contact between between the pollen and stigma occur likewise okay so this is the male reproductive flower uh, plant part and this is the female reproductive part so uh, in next example this is the example of potato flower potato flower so this part is the male part which is anther and this is the female part so the bending of style take place uh, to make a contact between the anther and stigma and hence the pollination occur in this way okay now the another example is of flower sunflower this is sunflower so this is the normal position and this is the position when the pollination occur so in this this uh, and this hairy part of the female reproductive part contain the anther and contain the pollen grain from anther is contain the pollen grain from anther and the female reproductive part folds to catch the anther and hence the pollination occur okay so in this way the there are various uh, ways in which the anther and stigma are brought together and the pollination occur in self pollination method now the importance of self pollination advantages maintain the parental character or purity of races so as there is no involvement of any another plant so there is a pure race of a same plant maintaining the parental character of a same plant no need to produce large number of pollen grain as the pollination occur in the same flower uh, in the same plant in the same flower so there is no need to produce a large number of pollen grain flower did not need showy petal odor to attract pollinator so as there is no need of pollinators in this uh, type of uh, pollination so there is no need to be uh, no need of showy petals odor and other things to attract pollinators like insects and birds the disadvantage is there is no introduction of new character take place as there is only one plant is present in this uh, whole process so there is no introduction of new character reduce the variability and hence adaptability to the change in 
environment as there is no introduction of new character so there is a reduction in the adaptability to the change in environment of plant okay so now we are going to discuss the cross pollination so in cross pollination the transfer of pollen grain from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of different plant but of same species species can't be different there would be no pollination occur between the rose plant and the sunflower the sunflower plant can get pollinated with the sunflower and the rose will get pollinated with the rose it required an external agencies external agencies like abiotic and biotic abiotic agencies are non living agents like wind and water so the pollination occur through wind is called anemophily and the pollination occur through water is called hydrophily biotic agencies are uh, the agencies in which the pollinations occur through animals and the pollination occur through animal is called zoophily in which if the pollination occur through insects then it is called entomophily and if the pollination occur through birds then it is called ornithophily if pollination occurs through bats is called chiropterophily and if it's snails then it is called malacophily so now what are the adaptation of plant for cross pollination so there are some adaptation of plant as we have seen in self pollination so there must be some adaptation of plant uh, for the cross pollination also so as we have seen in uh, self pollination the male and female reproductive organ mature at the same time so that the pollination can occur but in cross pollination if the uh, plant is bisexual having both male and female reproductive organ so there would be release of pollen occur first so in that case the receptivity of a stigma will not present and if the receptivity of a stigma occur so the pollen would not release so there would be no synchronization between both the uh, reproductive organ if there would be any synchronization if both will mature at the same time then the pollination will occur between them in the same uh, flower in the same plant so uh, this is the adaptability in which the pollen when the pollen are released the receptivity of a stigma did not occur and if the receptivity of a stigma occur so the pollen are not released so if the receptivity of a stigma occur so the pollination can occur from the pollen from the other source and if the pollen became uh, if the pollen release early so they can be transferred to the stigma of the flower of any other uh, plant long distance so in some bis this is the first adaptation and the other one is in some bisexual species anther and stigma are placed at different position to avoid contact between them so the position may be like this if this is the female part so the male part would be like this to avoid the contact between them or any other mean so that there would be no contact between the both so that the pollination can not be the self pollination okay self incompatibility is the genetic adaptation in this method in this method the anther uh, and the pollen grain produced from anther and the stigma do not match genetically so there would be no pollination occur in the same plant so this is the genetic adaptability genetic adaptability adaptability in which the there is the genetic variation between the pollen grain and the stigma receptivity of a stigma of a same plant so that no self pollination can occur so in some species like papaya male and female flower are present on different plant 
so in that case the plants are called unisexual plant in which either the male or the female reproductive part is present in one flower okay